Rodebois, EPGD Attorneys at Law. I'm going to do a five minute where I'm going to do a deeper dive on a one minute I just did. So here's the backstory. Five years ago, a business owner, now it sounds like he's been in business for 37 years, 38 years. He knows his craft. He decides to merge with an identical business and they agree to be 50-50 partners in a Florida corporation. Okay. And let's cut to the end of the story. They hate each other. They're fighting all the time. The one partner's wife somehow got a restraining order against the other partner. And even in court, the judge says, you know, I'm going to go ahead and grant this. Although this really sounds like a business dispute, not some sort of restraining order type dispute. And the judge was probably right and probably shouldn't have granted the restraining order. But the guy says, well, what do I do? And I said, well, you know, listen, it sounds like you guys are going through a divorce. And that's what we call it a lot in the law. We call it a business divorce. And so just like in a real life divorce, this is like the phase where they're still living in the same house. Maybe they still have a dog. They've still got the furniture. They've got bills that, that are shared. They're both on the car lease. They're both on the mortgage. They're both on all these shared things together. They're both on the bank account, um, but they hate each other. And honestly, they, they, they're trying to move out. And one of them sleeping in the guest bedroom or on the couch and they're not even talking to each other and they're like ships passing in the night and the reality is they just have all these things still intertwining them but they just haven't figured a way to unravel it so my first question to the gentleman is i said listen do you feel like there's a chance you can salvage this relationship it's almost like saying if we go to counseling or we get a therapist if we do marriage counseling can we make this work and he goes no try that it's a waste of time waste of money I'm, i don't want to do it i said okay and so what I always tell people is once we pass that phase where it's like, can we make this work? Then we have to look at how do we get out of this? And just like in real life divorces, there are only two paths. There's the, we can make a deal and figure this out like adults path, or there's the, we've got to go to court and because we're not going to be reasonable and we're going to force a judge to get involved path. And so in this scenario, I say, okay, do you think it's worth trying to sit down man to man and have a conversation and try to work out your differences. Even if it's to work out the differences, like, okay, you keep that machine. I'll keep that machine. Um, you keep the lease. I'll keep the phone number, like whatever it is to make them divide up their, their lives and untangle and finally move out and stop living together. And he says, Nope, done wasted my time. I've done that before. He won't listen to reason. I said, okay. So an elevated version of that is where we get a mediator. So let's talk about mediation. Mediation is where you hire a mediator. It's typically a, an older attorney or a retired judge, although it doesn't have to be. I've seen younger mediators. And you hire this neutral third party, and that's the point. They're a neutral third party, and their job is to help you make a deal. And so the traditional way is you go, you sit in the middle conference room, each side says their, their, their position, what they want, a lot of times people have their lawyers do it for them and then you separate and you go into two separate rooms and then the mediator walks back and forth and says okay here's their offer no you don't like it hold on let me go back and give a counter offer and that can last i, I did once once we started at nine in the morning and we didn't finish until one in the morning it was a marathon session but we were determined not to walk out of that room without a signed settlement agreement because that's what the finished product is the finished product is a signed agreement that is now enforceable in law it's like a contract and the and by the way if the two guys could sit face to face and make a deal i would write that contract anyways i mean i would say let's write it down and let's make it enforceable because people can change their minds you wake up the next day and you're like nah i don't want i don't like the deal i made okay so let's say that we can't do mediation we can't do the face to face and and we we just can't make it happen without the court well at that point one person is suing the other person and there's usually three outcomes in court you either um, have one person buy the other person out. You either close the business and sometimes the court will appoint a receiver and liquidate the assets and pay off the creditors and pay themselves, by the way, the receiver. And then what is le whatever's left over, the parties will split and the company will be dead. Or sometimes the judge will force you to do another mediation. The judge will say, hey, go work this out. Get this off my docket. And then, by the way, I threw a curveball. I said, why don't we put this, why don't we hire a broker and put this company on the market and sell it to a third party? And then you guys can just cash out and be done. Uh, of course, that would require the partner to agree. So again, just to kind of summarize, you either work it out, you make a deal either on your own or with a mediator, or you go to court and it could get long and messy and bloody and expensive. 
So if you guys have ever faced a partnership dispute, um, whether it's a corporation, an LLC, or a good old fashioned partnership, leave a comment below. And of course, if you guys want a consultation, just reach out. If you're going through something similar, I'm happy to talk to you.